Right, I've got a couple of new items which I got from Banggood this week. Um, I've got this motorcycle chain oiler, it's a manual oiler. Now one of you suggested using this as a cutting oil system for parting off or whatever. And I'm using this one to replace my old one. Um, this was a very good one but it um, takes up a lot of room in the tray of the Myford. And this one here, I can actually bolt it onto the bench or under the bench out of the way and it's cable operated. And I was so impressed when I got it, I'm going to buy another one for my Chinese mini lathe. It came in this box here. I think there were some instructions but I have lost those. Um, when you get it, it comes with the cable already assembled, the tubing and nozzle and some brackets um, obviously for fixing it to a motorcycle. And the rest of the items are within the canister and make sure you tip them out over a nice surface like this. Um, there's some small parts in here and they could easily be lost. You've got a ball bearing, um, there's a small steel um, piece there. You've got a um, cable lock, the tube for the actual pump and a spring um, plus a um, clip for the hose. And it's all very straightforward to assemble. You first get the ball bearing and drop it into the lower half of the pump. This is steel, which I like, very well made. Um, a lot of the old um, oil cans used to be steel like this, but they're now plastic. So I was very impressed with this one. Then the spring drops down. And that one slides over the um, top part of the pump. The cable feeds down through the guide and you've got to pull the cable right the way through. I think this um, metal part came with it. Um, I found it on the table after I tipped all the um, parts out and it looks like it came from it but um, I haven't got the instructions so I don't know whether it was definitely from this but I presume that that one goes to the eye of the lower part of the pump then I presume that this metal part goes over the cable and then the cable locking part goes over that you've got to pull the cable tight so it's under tension And whilst you hold it together like that, you do the um, Phillips screw up, or the crosshead screw. Tighten that one up and lock that on the cable. So if that part isn't amongst this um, kit, it doesn't matter because I've actually tried it um, just with the actual cable lock. And then I can just use the um, lever to operate the pump. And it's a really positive pump, very sensitive. And you can just uh, knock it a little bit like that and get a few drips or a long flow of oil. I'll show you how good it is in a moment. Um, there's the clip there for the actual um, tubing which will push onto the nozzle at the top here. But I'm not using this one, I'm going to use the um, tubing that I've already got on my lathe. So screw that one on like that. And obviously you could, um, like I say, put it on the bench, on the side of the bench. So it's easy to get out, but out of the way. 
So to mount the um, oil canister I just um, tapped the side of the wood here with 8mm and put an 8mm um, threaded stud in there and just um, locked that on with a nut. Put my sticker on and it's ready to go. It's all plumbed into my original system. I haven't decided yet where to put this. I think I'll make up a special bracket that actually goes into the um, slots or something like that. And I do want to make a nice um, brass ball um, knob for that one. So I've just filled it with oil and I'll show you how sensitive it is. Straight away it pumps the oil through. It's extremely positive. It's good because a lot of the oil cans that you buy these days are very um, hard to actually get going. Sometimes you even have to prime them. I was very surprised at this one. Um, I saw oil come up in the first pump. And you can see how good it is. You can just pump it very slightly just for a few drips or you can give it a long pump. There's a bit of air in there at the moment. There we go. Or just a few drips. So I think that's going to be a very effective system. And uh, I like the actual idea of having this um, handle. I can put it where I like it to make it um, very versatile in use. Now the other tooling that I got from Banggood is for this tool here which I did a review on some time ago and when I got this one I just got the ordinary inserts which were meant for soft materials like aluminium and brass or whatever. I said in that video that I'd get the blue nano inserts to try and that's what I've bought here. These inserts are said to last five times longer than the ordinary ones. It says they have a hardness of up to HRC52. They're good for milling stainless steel, cast iron, die steel, 45 steel, A3 and titanium alloy. And they come in this box here with the spider on the front. And when you look at them, you can actually see a blue coating uh, towards the centre of the insert. And these are the inserts that I buy all the time for this tool. Now, I don't buy the other type because it says these Blue Nano ones will um, machine hard and soft materials. So it's just worth actually buying these. And they're not that expensive anyway. They're very good quality. And I've been using them on this um, stainless steel here, 316 stainless steel. I've been machining that way and when I took the tool out I couldn't see any wear marks at all on the um, inserts under a magnifying glass. So for now I've bolted the handle on here on the um, one of these soft arbors, MT2 soft arbors. You can rest your hand there like that and operate the pump very easily while winding the cross slide. And it's 510 RPM.
and you can see those inserts cut beautifully. You can see a very good finish on that one. So if you buy these types of end mills it's well worth sticking to the blue nano type inserts. Um, I'm so pleased with these that I've actually um, bought the 14mm one now which is another three flute um, end mill and it actually takes the same inserts. And whenever I use some um, tooling like this with the inserts I find it actually saves a lot of money. You just change the inserts when they wear out. Um, you've got two ends on those so it's very economical to use over the um, solid carbide end mills. So I'm very pleased with those two tools or those two um, items and I think I'll get all the range of these um, end mill cutters. Uh, I think they all take the same insert which makes it great and I'm very pleased with the actual um, pump oiler. And when I come on next, I hope to have a nice brass ball end on this one.